lying within the darkened labyrinth, hidden beneath the Paris Opera House. An abomination awaits. <laughs> A terrifying creature as to strike fear into the hearts of all who saw him. He cries into the night, calling out for the one that he loves. Christine, Christine. His name is... The Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom of the Opera is a two-star bronze assassin available right from the start of the game via the friend point summon. Like his other two-star counterparts, this fearsome fiend has a maximum level of 65 prior to Grayling, boasting 8,393 health and 5,654 attack. But enough about that, we're here to see why the Phantom of the Opera really is the best Worst character in Fate's Grand Order. The Phantom boasts a triple quick deck, paired with his noble phantasm, Christine, Christine, which is. Arts? His deck combined with NP allows players to achieve that much treasured quick, quick <laughs> arts chain that we all yearn for. His NP does heavy defense ignoring damage to all enemies, which is good, because all of his enemies appear to have single target NP damage ignoring defense against the Phantom. On to his skills. First, his passive, Presence Concealment Rank A, symbolic of how well he hides his presence from players within FGO's story, to the point few players can even remember he was actually in it. Now onto his active skills, and firstly, Innocent Monster Rank D, an excellent self-defense debuff for three turns. As a side effect, it also generates up to nine stars per turn once maxed out to level 10, although if you only want to level it up to level four to avoid spending vital resources, that still nets you a cool five stars per turn for three turns, enough for each command card to have a single star. Unfortunately, the defense debuff does not scale with leveling, although it does start out at an already impressive 14%. Coupled with this is further star generating through that triple quick deck. The Phantom hits twice per card, generating 0.71% NP per hit, and more importantly, has a star generation percentage of 25.2. This places him a solid third among the five bronze assassins, when taking into account hit count. Hey, wait, that's actually kind of impressive. His second skill is Siren Song Rank B, a charm skill with the potential of charming females. This skill is highly useful when it hits, but sadly, it often is just the worst version of the skill possessed by Uriel and that goddess of assassins herself, Tsino. But then the piece de resistance of the Phantom's kit is Mental Corruption Rank A, a skill he shares with that well-known, world-beating top-tier caster, Gilles de Ray. This A rank skill raises the Phantom's mental debuff success rate by 25%, which combined with the 90% maximum value of Siren Song sounds really, really good. Except, of course, many characters have mental debuff resistance within their passive kits, rendering this inconsistent at best. It also increases his own mental debuff resistance at maximum level by 100%, ensuring that when everyone else is down, the Phantom is there to do damage when it matters, with his 5654 attack. Alright, alright, so maybe I've been a bit harsh on the good old Phantom, but what are his strengths? What makes players eager to place the Phantom on the field of combat and listen as his dreary murmurs woe people to them? 
Well, firstly, his Noble Phantasm improves drastically after his interlude, applying a 6 turn debuff resistance down on all enemies, something made all the more notable by being the only Bronze Assassin with an AoE damage Noble Phantasm. There's also... The Charm? When it works, I mean. And, um... Two stat quartz from Bonds, so that's good. Oh, and there's his Bonds Craft Essence in pure Death Mask, which buffs quick cards by 15% for the entire party when he's on the field, so that should help his Noble Phantasm. His Arts Noble Phantasm. And Kojiro's does the exact same, for over 200,000 less Bond points. Just use him instead. And for all your AoE needs, use Fuma Kataro. Otherwise, use a Berserker. Kihime is pretty awesome, and Spartacus is pretty cool. Oh, maybe show Eric Blood at some point. That guy gets as much fanfare as the Phantom, and he's a lot better. In conclusion, Fate's Grand Order is a special game, because every servant is useful, fulfilling a certain role. So credit to the Phantom in finding his own niche, trying to prove that theory untrue. <laughs> Hi, thanks for sticking around this long. So I may have deemed the Phantom to be the worst servant in the game, but there is someone worse, but who is so bad that they don't even deserve the, um, glory of being named the worst. Find out in part two. Thanks for watching.